In my last video, I laid out a full roadmap on how to become a designer in the world of AI in just six months. I received a lot of messages from many of you saying how useful you found the video. Thanks a lot so much for that. I genuinely appreciate the response. I also put in a lot of effort to distill everything I have learned over the years from working in the industry, speaking with design leaders around the world and exploring the evolving role of AI. As many of you know, I'm a self-taught designer. So that video was very much tailored for fellow self-learners. But along with all the thank yous, there was one specific kind of message that kept coming up and I want to take a moment to call it out. Sapta. I want to switch my career to design and this roadmap is amazing, but I just don't have the time. I'm juggling work and family. I keep starting, then falling off. Can you just tell me a simpler way to do it that is easier for me to consume? And honestly, I get it. The internet is overflowing with how to get into UX content, but most of it is unstructured, scattered, or worse, outdated. It assumes you've got hours every day and the mental space to stitch things together from 15 different tabs. So this video is specially for people who do not have the liberty to spend months curating their own curriculum. This is for people who want a little more handholding and a guided learning. To begin with, I still need you to follow three things that I mentioned in my past video. You will still have to practice thinking like a designer. You will still have to know how to learn anything using AI. You will still have to get better at your human powers. These three are non-negotiable and you wouldn't need any extra time to do this. To know the details of all of them, check out my roadmap video. I will leave it linked in the description. For the remaining things, let's dive in. All right, step number one, respect your time. First, let's set the record straight. Not having time doesn't mean you cannot become a UX designer. What it means is you'll have to be ruthlessly smart about how you spend the time that you do have. So here's the first step. Audit your week. Ask yourself, can you spare 30 minutes a day before bed or two hours on a Sunday morning while the house is quiet? Or maybe 15 minutes every lunch break. Pick a realistic window, not what you wish you had, what you actually have. Once you know your window, you stop comparing yourself with full-time learners and you stop feeling guilty for not watching a three hour long Figma tutorial at one in the morning. The goal is consistency, not intensity. And the good news is design is a skill that rewards clarity over chaos. All right, step number two is learn with direction, not distraction. Self-learning can be powerful, no doubt, but the real problem is that it often becomes self-overloading. Very effective, but yes, can be overloading. One moment you're watching a video on UX laws, two hours later, you're deep into a case study breaking down with 17 bookmarks, three note-taking apps, and still no idea what to do next. This is where most people get stuck. Not because they're not motivated, but they're stuck in a maze of content with no clear path forward. That's why structured learning matters, especially when your time is limited. You don't want to waste time figuring out how to learn. You just want to learn. So step number three, pick a course that does the thinking for you. This is where good courses come into the play. Not all courses, good courses. A solid UX course shouldn't just teach you concepts. It should do four things really well. Number one, it teaches you why UX matters. Number two, it helps you learn the right tools. Number three, walk you through a complete design process with real world examples. And number four, it helps you build a portfolio by the end. And more importantly, it should let you learn on your own schedule. So especially for the needs of folks who's really short on time, me and my team have gone through multiple courses to see what might be suited in this case. That's why the course I recommend today is from Microsoft hosted on Coursera. It is designed for people with zero background in UX and it walks you through everything at your own pace. So here we come to step four, get structure when you need it. The Microsoft UX Design Certificate is one of the few beginner-friendly courses that actually respects your time and your future goals. What I love about this course is that it doesn't just throw jargons at you, it breaks things down into digestible modules, each with real life applications. In this course, you will learn, number one, the fundamentals of design, of course. Number two, designing tools like Figma, of course. Number three, UX process flows. Number four, building a portfolio ready project. And number five, design presentations using PowerPoint. PowerPoint? You probably didn't expect that show up on a UX design course, right? But here's the thing. PowerPoint is still one of the most widely used presentation tools in the world, especially outside the design community. So if you are coming from a non-design background, chances are you're already familiar with it. 
That's exactly why this course includes PowerPoint to help you bridge that comfort zone with the design world. You will learn how to use PowerPoint not just as a slide tool, but as a medium to present your design ideas clearly and confidently to stakeholders. And since it's a tool you're already somewhat familiar with, it ensures you don't feel like you have been dropped into an entire new world filled with shiny, unfamiliar tools. It also weaves in some newer concepts like using AI in workflows, which is helpful without being overwhelming. This, in addition to all the AI-related habits that I mentioned in my previous video, should be enough to set you up for success in this cutthroat, competitive world of AI. And the best part is that this course is flexible, self-paced course. You can do it in your own time, which makes it easier to fit around work or other commitments. So whether it's a Monday night or a Sunday morning, you can keep moving forward at your own pace. And if you're someone switching from another field like psychology, graphic design, or marketing, this course actually helps you connect the dots and transfer those skills into UX. This Microsoft program specifically calls that out and teaches how to turn those soft skills into user empathy and actionable design. Do check out the course. I will leave the link in the description. All right, step five, learn, apply, and repeat. Here's something most people get wrong. They wait till a course ends and start applying what they have learned only after that. Don't do that. Even if you're only a few modules in, start practicing right away. Saw a lesson on color hierarchy. Rework a login screen. Learn something about accessibility. Do an audit on your favorite app. Covered onboarding UX? Try sketching it your own idea. Small actions compound. By the time you finish the course, you won't just know UX, you would have already started doing it. And of course, you would also have a certificate since the course gives you one. But again, don't take the course for certificate. Take it for what it offers you. The truth is not everyone has the time to become a UX designer through self-study and not everyone needs to. What you do need is clarity, direction, and a structure that respects your time while helping you build real skills. If you're serious about breaking into UX and want a reliable shortcut, not a guessing game, check out the Microsoft UX Design Certificate on Coursera. The link is in the description. Enroll anytime, learn at your pace. And to repeat once again, I would still need you to do the three things from my previous video. That is to practice thinking like a designer, know how to learn anything using AI, and get better at your human powers. These three are non-negotiable. These are mostly ways of life rather than lessons that you will need to learn. So check out this video. If this video helped you, hit the like button, subscribe for more content like this and share it with that one friend who has been thinking about UX but hasn't taken the plunge yet. This is Sapta signing off. Don't wait for the perfect time. Start with the time that you have.